Greetings, students of the world. In this video, I'll be talking about the advanced fee payment required by UK universities before they can issue you with a visa support document known as a CAS. Hello again, Jack here from Cardiff Met International to talk about the advanced fee payment, which is your ticket to receiving a UK university support with your visa application. If you're watching this video, hopefully you've already received your unconditional offer letter to study in the UK with Cardiff Metropolitan University and accepted your place. If not, and you either have a conditional offer letter or are yet to make an application, make sure you watch my other Cardiff Met International videos about these topics. Now, before I get started, in this video, I'll be using two key phrases that I want to let you know about. These are as follows. AFP. This stands for Advanced Fee Payment. CAS. This stands for Certificate of Acceptance for Study. I'll explain more about what these two things actually mean as we continue. So, once you've accepted your unconditional offer, as an international student, it is likely that you will need to apply for a Tier 4 visa. Whilst there is plenty involved in your visa application that I will cover in future videos, one of the key documents that you will require is a CAS. The CAS statement is your evidence that the university is supporting your visa application and has offered you a place on your chosen course. Your CAS is an electronic document with a unique reference number. Cardiff Met will issue you with a CAS once you have accepted your unconditional offer and made your advance fee payment. But what is the advance fee payment? or AFP. University regulations require you to make a prepayment or deposit once you've accepted your unconditional offer. The amount of your AFP is then deducted from your course fees. The current AFP amount is £3,000. However, it's worth checking this on your offer letter to make sure that you have the correct amount. There are many different ways that you can make the payment. Bank transfer, credit or debit card, a banker's draft, or by using Western Union. Full details of the different payment methods and bank details can be found on our website, which I'll link to in the description below. You can choose to pay your AFP in as many transactions as you want. For example, you can choose to make monthly payments up to the deadline, or you could choose to make one payment of the full amount. The deadline for the AFP tends to be two weeks to a month before your course start date. Again, you can find the exact deadline for your intake on our website using the links below. Once you've made your AFP, Make sure that you let the university know by sending us full details of your payment, including any details or reference numbers that will need to track it. It's worth mentioning at this stage, that if you're lucky enough to be receiving financial sponsorship or receiving a full scholarship, you do not need to make an AFP. When you provide us with evidence of your funding, the university will view this in the same way as receiving your AFP. Once we have received your AFP, we will send you your CAS, which you will need to apply for your student visa. If you've been really organised and made your AFP months in advance, it's worth knowing that the university is only able to issue your CAS three months before your course starts, so we won't be able to send it to you before this date. Now that you have your CAS, you can apply for your visa. Remember, the visa that you receive will only be valid for the university that issued your CAS, so you can only use your Cardiff Met CAS and visa to join us to study here, which is of course exactly what you're planning to do. I'll be releasing further videos about applying for your visa in the future. Once you've applied for your visa, you can book onto our airport welcome service, apply for accommodation, and start to prepare for your Cardiff Met UK study journey. Videos on all of these exciting topics will be available soon, or maybe now, depending on when you're watching this. So there we have it, an introduction to your CAS and the advanced fee payment you'll need to make to receive it. If this video has been helpful, please do give me a like below. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to the Cardiff Met International YouTube channel for more tips, guidance and advice about coming to study in the UK. And don't forget to click the bell to turn on notifications. If this is your first Cardiff Met International video and you want to find out more about the university, make sure you check out our Getting to Know Cardiff Met playlist. And as always, any questions, comments or suggestions, just let me know in the comments below. But for now, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll welcome you to Cardiff Met one day soon. Bye bye.